Lukman Ali, welcome to Africa 54. Thanks for having me. So you are the new kid on the block. Uh, you recently signed a deal with Netflix, uh, the first Ugandan to do that. How are things uh, going for you? Pretty normal. Uh, not much has changed for me, uh, but uh, I've been around for uh, close to five years now. been doing films. It's just that maybe I haven't been mainstream, but I've been around. And yeah, I, I, uh, most of my colleagues in the film uh, industry have received the news quite well, and a lot of people are happy for me, which is uh, which is really good. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited to be part of the uh, Ugandan cinema history. <laughs> good, and uh, a big uh, congratulations from my end to you, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, how does it feel to be playing in the major leagues? Well. <laughs> I don't know how to feel uh, since this movie was made in 2019 and I've uh, since made two other films. So this is like someone bringing up my very old work. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy to see it, but I have since moved on to better things. It puts me in a very interesting position where I have to be happy with my old work, which is very, very hard for most artists. Interesting, uh, the fact that uh, you don't think this is one of your best uh, works uh, and uh, here you are, uh, it's the one that has gotten some kind of international acclaim. So this was, uh, was, was, was meant to, to be in the cinema on the 14th of April, but we had a countrywide lockdown and those days changed. Uh, I think they cancelled it like a week before. So we ended up not showing it. And because of that, I had to find alternatives. So we got a distributor and this distributor uh, put it, uh, sent it to Netflix. It's been in the works for some time. And now it's, it's going to be on. So since then, uh, I've done two projects uh, after, after that, which I was the blind date and 16 rounds, which are on YouTube. I put them up on YouTube. I'm very proud of the accomplishment, and uh, I, I think it's it's amazing. How did you get into film production? First time I remember, like movies, I was around uh, the age of eight. I watched, I think I watched a movie called We Were Soldiers, and I was really amazed by the whole action sequences and, and all that stuff. And I, I grew up watching the likes of uh, Rambo, um, mm. <laughs> all these films. Mm. So I was I was very interested in being part of the whole thing. Uh, started out just doing them on the weekend when I'm not working, uh, until I think they were decent enough for me to leave off making TV commercials and and uh, now movies. As a film producer in uh, Uganda, what are some of the challenges uh, you run into on a daily, day-to-day -day basis? The internet is very expensive, and, uh, and even if we do get our movies on Netflix, very few people will be able to afford to watch them. It, it, it makes it uh, an, an undesirable market for uh, all the streamers, because if people can't watch, then what's the point? Why, why invest in... Uh, in, in, in local talent if the locals will not watch. In Uganda, it's really difficult to film outdoors. Uh, this is why most of our movies are indoors, because uh, anytime you're caught filming outside, it becomes, uh, uh, it becomes a court case. You don't have a conducive envir environment to do your thing, to nurture your it, talent. It's very difficult. Uh, there's just isn't an official way of doing things if I hear you correctly, uh, how can the Ugandan government support the creative industry or the movie industry? I don't know. I'm sure there's even like a space program in Uganda, but have you ever seen any <laughs> astronauts from Uganda? <laughs> well, us having, us having a, a body doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be functional. So we might have these things in place, but mm -hmm. they're not readily accessible to everyone. And some of these people... Uh, you, you, there might be a person that you talk to, but when you reach this person, they are not aware that they're, they're the ones you're supposed to talk to. So they'll send you to someone else, and you'll be in that loop of go to this person, go to this person, go to this person, and until you give 